Okay, hi everybody. Uh, thanks for uh, joining today. Uh, after uh, Conrad raised the bar so high with uh, the magic we are doing here, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, how you can take some of the magic if you want uh, back home and uh, you know play with your TV instead of uh, I don't know watching talk shows. So I'm going to talk about um, how we are going to move from custom hardware to Android TV and uh, and beyond. Uh, what I'm going to cover today will be uh, will be the custom hardware. What is Android TV and why should we develop for it? How we are going to think slightly different because obviously TVs and, and smartphones are different. How we are going to use React Native with Android TV and how we are going to, to start developing um, on it. Our custom hardware, so uh, Conrad didn't show you the internals. Uh, essentially, we, are, we just have an Android board there. It's nothing special. The, the electronics uh, you see uh, are, uh, is, uh, on, the, on the bottom is only used for the voice part because if we are using the Bluetooth for the microphone, it has a lag. So if we want to do a real karaoke at home, uh, Bluetooth will not gonna help. So this is an uh, RF module with ADC and, uh, and um, um, uh, sound processing, so uh, uh, the, the um, sound, uh, audio, is streamed digitally to the um, uh, Android. But anything uh, than that, the controller is uh, using uh, Bluetooth for, um, for the movement. So essentially we're, we're just having a, an uh, Android phone there. Uh, what is Android? Actually, we have two choices on the Android TV. Either you just get the, the normal media players, uh, for, I don't know, something between 20 and 50 pounds, or you get um, an embedded media player in the, in the um, TV itself, uh, saving, you know, an extra um, uh, remote, which probably is annoying, you know, having all the remotes all, all over the places. In terms of market share, every year we're growing and growing, and uh, obviously today you find in the in the um, in the shops, um, you know, 4K, and um, it's mainstream to have um, uh, full HD TVs, uh, and probably I don't know what will uh, will happen, but I don't think it you can find anything less than a smart TV today. So either you will have you know like a Samsung or a Android TVs, but that's. Uh, uh, in terms of the of the OS share, obviously Android is uh, having uh, its lion part, but also um, uh, Tizen from uh, Samsung is there. I don't know if, you, if they will continue this way, and OS, uh, WebOS has a, a slightly smaller share. So Android is, uh, is still leading and it will probably swallow the whole thing. Uh, so why Android TV? Um, first it's a um, it's a larger screen, so you know you don't have to uh, worry about your Excel not fitting the phone, like um, we saw in the. Well, uh, doing Excel on TV it's rather <laughs> peculiar, so I won't do that at home at least. Uh, it's a good reason to ask for a TV at office. On the other hand, so yeah, um, it, you can uh, really share real life experience, you know. So that's completely different than, you know, try to, 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 to get your life from the, from the, from the phone itself. And uh, less uh, smobies, you know what smobies are? Anybody? Smobies? Well, yeah. <laughs> Spoiler. Well, smobies are actually, you know, uh, smart uh, mobile zombies, which are glued to the to their um, headsets and they are hitting and uh, you know damaging cars or over places. Um, so definitely, when we are trying to you know develop for uh, for Android TV, that's not how this will look like. So we need to really think different. And uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what I what do I mean for think, think different? Uh, First, one, first of all, the, think about the smartphones without touch. You don't really touch TVs, you know, unless you are like 18 years old, 18 months old, sorry, <laughs> and touching everything and 
parents need to move things uh, upstairs, so uh, you don't really touch TV. Everything is focus oriented. So if you play it with TVs, you just scroll and then, as Conrad was saying, you just have these elements focused, which are kind of, you know, zooming in you. And then, of course, if you have large screens, you have, it's, it's, uh, it's a good idea to have a very good quality um, background images uh, like you notice on, on our app. And obviously, even if we have the keyboards in our app, we try to avoid it as much as possible. So, uh, for instance, um, you can you can bring on our um, on our app the the photos from your Facebook. But how are you going to do it? Definitely, uh, we're not asking you to log in with user and password because it will take like maybe two weeks or something. So uh, it's the other way around. You just get a, a code on your screen and you punch your code in your mobile app or on your desktop, and then. The two are linked in uh, behind the scene, and then you get uh, the um, the pictures in the um, in the TV, you know. And obviously, uh, for the smart TVs, uh, even if you can't do karaoke, you still can use a microphone over Bluetooth from the remote control, you know, to to uh, to have comments like you know, search or you know, play music, whatever you want. So microphone is a good input, uh, and with um, you know the the, the latest um, um, achievements in uh, in machine learning uh, with um, uh, NLP, uh, things are getting uh, pretty pretty nice. And obviously, user recommendation. How many of you have smart TVs at home? Oh, okay. So you better hurry. <laughs> okay. So uh, the first line in the in the Android TV is the recommendation. So it's very useful to you know get a, uh, get a spot there, and uh, the the the, the subsequent lines are actually the, the spots for uh, for your application. You probably notice Roxy. I don't know if this is will be the the latest um, you know logo and um, uh, uh, icon, but. Um, uh, this is how it will look like. Um, in terms of development, um, Android came with this, um, what they call lean back support library. But uh, as you probably notice, Android is not like leading the graphical development in this world. So everything, if you, if you uh, use this library, all the application will probably look the same and uh, I don't know. So uh, what's, what's the, the alternative? Let's try to use React Native and Android TV. And how is going to do that? Um, starting uh, React Native 55, 0.55, uh, the support is already there. So you don't have to really do anything. Uh, most of the application are working off the shelves. Uh, so uh, there are some small things which you might need to do it in order to make it real application. I mean real uh, Android TV apps. Uh, but uh, just, you know, install the application on a TV and it will just work. And obviously can be published uh, as usual in, uh, in Google Play. Uh, just need to, to mention that it's an uh, Android, um, uh, it's for TV. Uh, you probably remember again the, um, uh, how how different can a design look, you know, as opposed to what you saw on uh, on Google. So no, you know, sharp corners and things like that, but more artistic and curved uh, lines all over the places. Uh, sorry. So we really need to use imagination where when we are um, developing for uh, for Android TV and. Uh, when I'm saying that, we need to use a, the focus and the selectors, um, uh, use the animated um, uh, stateful list, uh, either, you know, horizontal like, um, like you saw, or maybe 2D, uh, think Excel again. Uh, focusable components, which are, uh, you know, um, uh, are brought to, the, to, to, to life when you, you focus on them. And full screen, uh, again, uh, background images. Also, when we are talking about interacting with, um, with Android TV, um, this is what we have. Either there is a very complicated TV-oriented um, um, remote control of, or a very Spartan way, but all of them have, uh, you know, the, what it called the D-pad or directional pad um, 
uh, controls with the arrows, left, right, uh, up and down. They have the back and the home control. And obviously the mic. So when you are doing that, you kind of, you know, try to have like a common denominator, but you always can take advantage of, you know, rich um, uh, remote control and hook on specific buttons. When it comes to navigation, this is how you do the navigation with a remote control on Android TV, so either left, right, or up, down, with a focus on, uh, on the selected elements. So how do you start developing? Well, first thing is that you just get in the settings of the TV. So I believe that you spot the settings on your smart TV. So just go there in the about, and then you go in the build, press like, 150 times, I don't know how, nobody knows how many times you need to press, then, get, then magically the development o, uh, developer options is popping up and then you just enable the, the development mode. Probably you did it so many times on your Android that you know how to do it, it's the same in, uh, in Android TV. Then you just need to figure out what is the IP of your TV and issue it command. It's ADB connect the IP uh, column and uh, the, the port um, uh, 5555. And then you just get connected. And then by running your, you know, uh, uh, very, very well known uh, and a React Native uh, run Android, you just get your app on the screen. It's as simple as that. It's nothing special. So there's a, you know, the small magic, you, the rabbit, how you can get it from the, the hat. Now, again, your app is just working fine if you do that. However, if you want to take advantage of, you know, having your app on the, on the screen of the TV, having its own logo, the icon, the normal icon you played uh, so far is not enough. So you need to have in your application a couple of things. First of all, you need to, to mention that the touch screen is not required. So... The, the required is false. Also, the microphone is not required, but it's still there. So maybe your app will be able to, to get, uh, you know, um, uh, the support from the mic. Also in the application and in the, uh, in the activity, you need to specify the banner, the logo, and the label. This brings you the app on the, on the um, uh, front, on the home uh, screen of the Android TV. Otherwise, you need to go in the settings, in the app list, and run it from there, which is kind of annoying. And also, it's important to have this category as a lean back launcher. But that's the whole thing you need to mention in your, uh, in your uh, manifest. And the rest is just working. Now, a little bit of code. Uh, so let's say for a touchable opacity, how you can, you know, get on uh, on the focus part. You just have to hook on 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 the two events, the focus on the blur, and do whatever you want. In this case, you just change the color of the border of this uh, button. So nothing special, but you can come up with uh, you know very fancy things like Conrad show you with a lot of animation and a lot of things there. We, I mentioned uh, earlier the events on the, on the key. So uh, you can hook on top of the, what you have in, uh, as an event for the, your touch, touchable opacities. You can directly hook on, on the event. So this is kind of the events you get irrespective of the focus on blur, right? So you have all the, um, the direction buttons, the D-pad, and you also have the play, stop, the fast forward, the rewind, or the select when you select this. So you can build on top of that. So uh, the code is very simple. Just hook on the TV event handler. It's already, it's already there in the React Native. You don't have to do anything special. When it comes to um, packages, already available packages which are working off the shelf with uh, Android TV, it's worth mentioning the React Native voice which is bringing the power of the microphone in your application. So just, you know, install this. It's, uh, it's there in the GitHub. Just install it and you have it. Uh, you just need to, to start uh, the voice on the, um, um, whatever language, but uh, probably English is best. And uh, then hook on the um, on speech result handler. So the value actually will contain a an array of uh, strings of what the 
let's say the engine understand you spoke. So if you say play Michael Jackson, it will say first ring is play Michael Jackson, the third one is play and Michael something else, and so on. Depends on what um, what the the, the, um, uh, the algorithm understand. Another one which is very very good and very useful is React Native uh, music control, which is bringing on the home page, even if your app is dormant, so it goes back in the in the in the background, you will still get a first place in the in the row of the recommendation, just by feeling these things and saying, okay, this is what we are, uh, is going on. Right now it's playing this music, right? So again, uh, another very um, useful package, which is uh, working uh, as is from, uh, from GitHub. Now a couple of goodies. So, uh, you know, when you develop with, uh, with Android, you take the phone, you shake it, and then you get the menu. Uh, kind of, you know, annoying to shake. I mean, we tried a couple of times, we broke a couple of TVs, so we stopped. Uh, so when you, you really need the menu, you know, to pop up, you just issue this ADB shell input key, uh, key event from your, uh, from your laptop, and then you have the, um, uh, the menu uh, pop up. Also, you can have the back, because obviously you don't have, or maybe you can have it, um, but it's much easier to, to do it on the, on the keyboard. Uh, you can control the, the, um, uh, the remote. Uh, so you can uh, issue, let's say, up, down, whatever. You can input text, which is very useful if you want to really, you know, subscribe uh, to whatever. Uh, this is how you use the, inst uh, the ADB to install the application, to run the application, to run the intent with a deep link, if you want to, you know, have a development on uh, with deep link in uh, this. And always you can uh, pop up the settings of the. Um, of the TV just by using. So probably you, you have already in mind that uh, you can cover with this, uh, these comments, you can cover a lot of uh, you know, uh, integration tests. You know, just have them from one side to another, um, have your app tested. So that's the ADB goodies. Uh, don't worry, this slide will be shared, so uh, you'll get them. OK. In terms of takeaway, there is no better time to start developing for Android TV. Think about you know small bees. You make everybody a favor. Uh, React Native just works, so that's nothing special there. Be creative when designing with for Android TV, so don't really just use a you know the Google thing. Uh, keep in mind that we don't have touch, we don't have keyboard. Well, not so, but we we have focus microphone and background images, and. With the React Native uh, 060, um, uh, probably some of you know that um, the, um, uh, the React Native guys are moving to Android X, which contains a lean back. So probably in the next period, we might you know, get some of the fragments of the lean back uh, framework in case you don't want to spend more time in uh, you know, de uh, designing fancy um, uh, interfaces. And with that, thank you very much for uh, listening to me. If you have a question, I'm here. <laughs>